I'm hope to get justice for my son. That is, what, that is what I would like to see come out of the trial. The teenager accused of second-degree murder in connection with the fatal stabbing of 16-year-old Janai Dopwell Bailey outside a high school in Montreal's Cote Neige two years ago has been on trial for the last month, with the jury expected to deliberate over the weekend. The accused in this case was also 16 when he was charged and can't be named due to a publication ban. Janai's mother and other family members were in court on Friday, hoping, they say, to get justice for Janai. It's hard for me, especially this morning. When the judge spoke, I was very touched and heartbroken, listening to what happened to my, my child, going over the same thing again and again. It's just hard for me. The judge summarized the evidence presented over the last weeks, including what witnesses described as panic on Janai's face after being stabbed multiple times just after he exited his school on October 18, 2021. The teen tried to get help inside program Mile End before police and paramedics arrived. He was pronounced dead in hospital. I miss him. It's, um, it's two years. I feel like... I'm I still going to see him sometime. I'm looking for him, especially this time of the year, Christmas. The judge spent most of the day giving instructions to the 12 jurors surrounding the evidence to consider, including a social media video posted an hour after Janai's stabbing of a masked person, allegedly the accused, dancing and brandishing a knife. It is for the judge to instruct the jury about the law that applies to the case and to comment on the evidence and apply the law to it. But at the end of the day, it's going to be for the jury to apply those instructions to the evidence and reach the verdict unanimously. Her son is gone, it's, it's final, so people have to be made aware how easily this can happen. It can happen to anyone. And uh, if they don't uh, do something so that the youths can see that there's consequences to their action and think, you know, what could happen as a result, maybe that will deter them. Charla says she's looking to move forward from the trial and heal. I pray for power and strength for my son because my son, he would have liked me to be strong for him. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.